basically you start, you write every plant you see, and then you come back and you write um, what percent cover you have of that plant so that we can rank it. So if we have a couple upland plants, but there's just a couple of them, we still wanna make note of them, but that might not mean that it's not a wetland because it's only like 2% of it or something. And all these plants can creep into the upland and into the wetland, and that's why we rank them so that we can do dominance tests. This guy right here, it won't actually hurt you, but it's called stinging nettle and it'll sting. It won't like let me have a, like a lasting problem or anything, but you, you might run into it while we're out here. This little piece of paper, it's a ligule. That's one of the ways you can identify. It's just everywhere. You know, it's not a pretty plant. It grows everywhere, so. This is called common milkweed. Um, butterflies really like it. It's an upland plant. It's surrounded by some golden rods, which um, can go either way. I believe this one is the upland one. And I'm testing to see if it has this fuzzy outside. Um, it's kind of borderline, but it's a little early in the season. So these are called sedges. And you can tell because sedges have edges, which is what we say. So you roll it in your finger and you can feel edges on it. So it's actually a triangular stem. Many sedges, the majority of sedges are wetland plants. There are some that are not, but I, they're much smaller than this. So these ones are wetland plants. This one is called bed straw, but my favorite is on the plant list that we use. Somebody named it Sticky Willy, and it like sticks to you kind of. There's a couple different species of these. There's actually a whole bunch of them, um, but this one's a horsetail, and it, I believe this one, it's called meadow field horsetail, um, and I believe this one occurs 50% of the time in the upland and 50% of the time in the wetland. So it's not super helpful sometimes when finding the boundary. But it's actually worked really well because I pulled this one literally right next to where we put the flag, so you would think that would be right, you know, so.